hello lilas welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and don't forget to leave me a comment below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up did i say give this video a thumbs up give stop right now give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment guys and if you're not a part of the channel box please join the channel membership it is a dollar and 99 cents to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join the chat box guys today 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 yeah <laughs> oh my gosh guys 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 listen y'all already know my story y'all already know what's been going on all year long whatever i kid you not i kid you not during my downtime when i said you know what i need to just regroup and I wanted to see if I could just zone out and pour all my love into this particular baby. I, oh my gosh, guys. When I got this kit as a blank, blank sculpt, I was like, the sculpting is beautiful. Before I got the kit, I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like, because, you know, I don't like balled up, scrunched up legs and stuff. But then as I start seeing people pose their babies and stuff like that, I'm like, and taking, I'm like, I got to just get the kit, just at least see if I like it in person. Oh my gosh. When I tell you Bonnie Brown is the goat, she is the goat. I have so much love and respect for Bonnie Brown. This Laura kit is freaking amazing I I did things with her like you know I've been like I told y'all I've been trying and trying and trying to tweak my coloring and I I'm just I love her I'm going to show you guys her feet first okay I'm going to show you guys her feet first. This baby is the Laura by Bonnie Brown. She is painted by me. I will have her rooted ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. You understand me? She will get rooted so freaking fast. Like, if I didn't have this custom order and I had promised her to give her my personal spot, she would have went even before then. Now, I, I, like I always tell you, my work is not seamless, but this baby, <laughs> she is so close to being perfect for me. Like, she is so close. Like, I can see little things where I'm like, dang, I could have maybe did that a little bit better, whatever, whatever. But I love her. I, I really, really, see, People think that when you paint, you love every single baby you do. Are you, I have to at least like it to sell it or to show it to you guys. But some babies just pull differently. Now y'all know I got my Charlotte and I love my Charlotte. I love the skin tone of Charlotte and stuff. But this baby here is, I said, this will be my replacement since I have two of that kit. So these are her little feet. And like I said, you know, as always, you know, the camera never shows them as they are in person. Exactly. But she is amazing. And she's not awkward. Her legs is not awkward. It's very, very, very natural. And Bonnie showed where you can stitch the side of the body to make the body even come a little bit even so her legs will close it even more but i'm perfectly okay with how the sculpt is period the body is fine so she's just on a little cloth body okay so let me get to where you guys can see her like she's not like overly vain but she does have some veining and i think her veining is very beautiful in the places that that it is but y'all know me when I do my personal babies, I, I, I tend to do a lot more craziness than I would if it was a baby to sell. So bear with me. Let me see if I can 
trying to get more light. Um, so hang on. All right. So this is her all the way. Her hands, I love her hands. Her hands is my one of my favorites too. I love the position of the hands. I love her arms. Like I just love this baby. Um these are her hands. I don't know if you guys can see that. I I almost want to name her Lauren, but I'm not. I've thought about Katie. It just depends. I'm going to wait till she get... I don't know if I'm going to wait till she get rooted. I'll probably name her before then. But I'm going to have to decide if this is going to be like a forever, ever baby before I give her a name that's so... Um, so special to me. Um, I feel like this is one that I, I am going to keep. But I want to paint this sculpt again. I want to paint it in darker skin tones and lighter skin tones. I just, I, I want to play with this kit a lot more. This kit zoomed right in at the end of the year, guys. And this is my top 2021 sculpt. I, I, I kid you not. Look at this. Her hands, her face is so cute. Oh my gosh, look, look at this. So, of course me, it being my personal baby, I did a lot of different little things with her. She does have a little bit of baby acne, not enough to where it makes her look, you know, too blotchy or whatever. She does have a lot of veining in her um, her face and she has a baby scratch and she has the little, you know, the little capillaries and the little things that babies have, you know, when they're newborn in their face basically mimicking my grand my grandson um and my other grandbabies had the same like redness on their eyes and stuff their eyelids and stuff it's just very common i see a lot of other artists do it to their babies and it's because it's so common with newborns but guys i love this baby i don't know if i'm going to show this video before um 2021 is over but like literally I laid the little um baby thing out for her I didn't give her a magnet yet because she's not rooted and I'm like I'll just wait till she get rooted but I laid the little baby uh pad thing out that came from out of my little um lounger and the pillow and I laid her on my bed last night and every time I walk in the room I just I was just like oh my gosh and I she slept there that's where she slept I I there's so much I can say about this kid I love the size of the hands I love the size of the feet the size of the feet is amazing I'm only mad at myself that I did not order multiple kits like I thought to do and I didn't do it so I'm really mad about that. This kit also will make an amazing boy. So I think I'm gonna paint me a boy version of this kit in a different skin tone so that I can have, like this kit is one that you can have like multiples of. She is very poseable too. And it's just, I don't know. I just, I, I love her so much. I love her so much. Um, I love the way her painting came out a lot. Like I'm so proud of myself. And she's not, like I said, my babies are never like super perfect. Um, but her hands came out good, her nails, her feet, like everything. She has nice mottling, nice veining. And I put some uh, baby wafers in her so she could smell good. And she's just so perfect. And it worked out. I've, I've had these knits and I'm like, I need a special baby to wear these knits. I spent a lot of money for these knits from... Um, Chrissy Dany Law um and um I I just felt like I just had to have the special baby and I'm so glad that she's able to fit them and it's perfect because she doesn't have hair so the cute little hat so I'm just I'm just happy guys I I I, I don't have her a magnet like I said 
but she'll also be cute with a pacifier but i wouldn't want to cover up her face because i really love her lips and i love the way i painted my baby lips so it's just a lot it's a lot of little things that i did to her that makes her so different from the rest of my work um i feel like i was getting closer like when i did christian dior then i did uh aspen and then now her they are kind of in the same neighborhood with coloring but i think i think this this one um for sure is kind of where i want it to be um with skin tone so i i'm gonna still keep tweaking and keep doing practicing but it's just oh my gosh like i don't usually get emotional about my own work like i usually get so emotional about other people work but this baby makes my heart like get like I don't know and I know we do this and then you know you'd be like oh next thing you know the baby's up for sale I know that I know people are gonna say yeah she's doing that now but then two weeks later she'll be like it's up for sale well you know what let me have my moment let me have my moment my moment because right now my chest like tightens when I look at her like I I like I've dressed her already like three or four times like I want to try on every outfit in here like i i have this one shirt that i just bought and i don't know what i did with it and i've been like scrounging and tearing up everything trying to find it just because i want to put her in this one particular outfit i am so happy and i have to share that with you guys and i i want to know like guys do you guys if you're a painter do you get babies that you just be like oh my gosh I've had a few like that but they weren't mine and I had to let them go and I was like miserable um but there's just a few that I've like really 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 like fell in love with and like I don't know like I do I even I'm just trying to think have I ever kept one of my own work for a long long time as far as reborns, I think the longest babies that I've kept of my work is probably um, Lily Grace and Piper. I usually end up selling my own work. You know, I don't usually keep my own work. So, but yeah. So, <laughs> it's going to be amazing to see who I keep of my own work. I know, I feel like I'm going to keep Piper forever. I feel like I'll, ne I'll never let her go. But then I felt like that with Lily Grace. But Piper really, really, um, I really, really love my Piper. But let me show y'all who Piper is for y'all that's, that's new that know because she's right here looking at me. I, I spend a lot of time when I'm recording. I'm talking to you guys and I'm looking around as I talk. I'm, I'm weird like that. And um, so I'm usually right, you know, because they're right here. But I'll show you. And, and her hair is messed up. But this is a. Uh, that's Piper. <laughs> that's Piper. I am trying to paint, paint another sculpt like her. And um, I'm, I'm so afraid that I won't get it close enough to her. I'm trying to paint her for a friend. And so I've been working on that. And, um, but Piper is, look at her, she got her little tummy plate. I started to do a tummy plate with her, but I didn't. And it's okay, because I don't, I don't particularly care to have them. I, I like it on Piper, because she's little, and, and she's still a little squishy. But, um, Piper is one that I think I will keep forever. I, like, love the way Marita winners sculpted this particular baby and I feel like she really looks the preemie part whereas in some kits don't look totally preemie but anyway I know this was an introduction about um Lauren and not Piper and I will keep saying because she looks like she's she should be like a Lauren or something something very delicate and soft like she just seems so yeah but anyway this is like I said this is my work 
This is my painting. This is what I love. I I I love this. I I love these these babies. I and I I'm just I'm just so excited, guys. Let me um let me move Piper. Come on, Boca. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm I'm just really excited um about how she turned out. I'm excited to um to share more of her. You guys are gonna see a lot of her before she goes off for rooting because she is definitely by far my favorite um so far um for my personal babies i i oh my gosh i love her so much guys oh my gosh i i feel like i feel like i should name her something something very special because I know where I was when I was painting this baby. I know the place of where I, it came from when I was painting this baby. And I, I feel like I should give her that name, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna hold off right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely keep her middle name Lauren. So for now, we'll just call her Lauren, but her name may be Katie Lauren, but we, and I, I know that don't go together, but it's, trust me. But I, I will, I will see. Um, and by no way am I like trying to brag on my own work or anything like that. Because I know you guys be like, oh my gosh, she's so extra. You know, I don't know why I feel like I have to speak to the, 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 um, the negative crowd and the positive crowd. But I find myself doing that a lot lately. And I think it's because I am a little uncomfortable being so confident and within my work like I feel I've seen so many people become so arrogant with over time that I don't want to become that person so I'm always like trying to make sure I stay humble and and like you know but I I really love her I feel like she's she's like so beautiful anyway guys thank you again again for watching and let me know if you would like to see more of her. And by all means, you can give me name suggestions in the comment section. Um, there were some names that was given for my um, Cheyenne. I am going to probably use one of those names as well for other babies um, if I don't keep her. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, that is it. Bye-bye.